Hello everybody and welcome back to eScooter Rider. Today I'll be showing you a cheap and easy way of protecting your brake light from water damage. So, when I was at the hardware store the other day, I noticed this. It's called Synthetic Rubber Protective Coating. Essentially it's a rubber in a spray can. It comes in various colors, including transparent, but for demonstration purposes, I'll be using black. As you can see, this, I've already treated this with the transparent and you can't even see that it's there. Anyway, so, if you don't already have this uh, plastic protective cover, don't worry. All you have to do is give it, just spray it, give it a few coats over, right over this area. Just make sure that the rubber, that material accumulates in that uh, rectangular uh, groove there, okay? It dries relatively quickly. Uh, the instructions say that you're supposed to give it a few coats every couple of minutes, okay? But, so we'll see. That's one. Now as it's drying, make sure that the, the brake light uh, is down so that the rubber won't find its way down through the, the mud guard. If you already have this plastic protective cover, uh, go ahead and remove it for, for a second, okay? Um, put some tape at the back uh, to make sure that the brake light won't, won't move. It's very important that the brake light won't move while you're, you're spraying it. And as you're spraying, Make sure that I'll try to aim at this rectangular opening here because that's where where the water will potentially go through. You'll obviously uh, fill these these two holes where the screws go in, but that's not a big deal. I'm gonna let this dry. And give it one more coat. I basically wanna make sure that this, the rectangular opening is uh, filled with, uh, with rubber. Once it, so you've given it a few coats uh, and the rubber has partially dried. Make sure it didn't dry completely, but once it's partially dried, in my case it was about 15-20 minutes, go ahead and put the cover back in place. It will stick the rubber that's still the partially dried, it will stick very nicely. And put the screws back in. You can put the 
put the wire back in place. Again, um, I, I, I'm using a, a black collar on purpose so that you guys can see the rubber better. Uh, in real life, you can you can get you can get this thing in, in clear color so it won't won't damage or damage the looks of your your mud guard or anything. And once you've once you've secured the plastic cover, you can give it a few more coats for extra protection. Now, um, the reason why I'm telling you to first remove the, the protective plate, apply a few coats of, of this uh, rubber and a spray, then put the cover back on and sp spray all over it just like I'm doing now, is because I've tried doing it the other way. I've tried uh, not removing the, the protective plate, just spraying all over this area. Uh, it didn't quite work. It seems like the protective cover actually prevented the rubber from seeping uh, into all the tiny crevices and water seeped through. So, um, this is what it looks like when it's dried. It's, it feels like rubber, just nothing else. And the one with the plastic cover, same thing. I'm going to pour some water over this just to test it. The spray clay feels nice and dry. There's no water seeping, nothing. It's all protected. I highly recommend getting this uh, rubber in a spray can if you can and, and doing this. It's very simple and it will protect your, your brake light. Another nice thing about this material is that it comes off relatively easily if you decide to get rid of it in the future. <laughs> 